Okay, so I'm back. It's been several days since I recorded anything or put any videos up. Um, but I did feed it over the weekend and it started to grow again. And I forgot who it was I was talking to, but they said feeding it twice a day might encourage it to grow because if it's rising, it's feeding on what's in there, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. So to get it established, I might have to feed it twice a day instead of once. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to put the elastic where it needs to be and then I'm going to watch it for a couple of hours and see because I see it did come up a little higher up here but then it went back down again and it did come back up just a little bit but then it went back down again so I'm going to try feeding it twice a day and I think that's going to be the key um, so yeah I already have the water measured out here see okay that filter's still good Let's pour off half I never measure exactly I'm always just kind of eyeballing it one cup of filtered water One cup of flour. This flour seems to be working a lot better than the other stuff I was using, so I'm going to stick with that. It was on sale last week, so I bought another bag because we're getting down. It's maybe that full. and then I'll scrape the sides down again before I finish with it so it hopefully stays cleaner or I can pour it into a new jar I do have a clean jar here that's big enough My spatula has seen better days. The whole top's gone, but the scraping edge still works. Might have to switch the jar next time I feed it because it's awfully gross on the inside, but it's still working. There. So it's all the way fed. I'm gonna bring the elastic up just a tad. That's about right. All right, so I'll come back later in a couple of hours and see if it's grown. So I don't know if you can hear it. I'm on my covered back porch and it's raining slash snowing, but I just wanted to show you, we got, Cora and I got some seeds started the other day. These are cherry tomatoes, yellow squash, zucchini, ghost peppers, butternut squash, and cabbage. So hopefully they start. And then my herb garden over here, we have rosemary, basil sweet, apparently, instead of sweet basil, <laughs> catnip, and parsley. And I have a baby blanket going here. We have a baby shower soon, and I've been working on it to get it done. So I've got a lot of stuff done since yesterday, so I'm just gonna sit this afternoon and probably watch a few episodes of my show and try and get more of this done. 
so I just wanted to pop on. I'm going to put a picture up, but it looks, it's quite hilarious actually. Um, it looks like one of the kids was messing with the Netflix profile names. It's hilarious. Um, but yeah, I mean, I probably find it more funny than you guys because it's my kids, but I'll pop in a picture here and show you. Um, but I did just want to hop on and say um, that I'm grateful for everyone's support so far for the views and the likes and the shares and everything else like that. I didn't start doing this for attention or for people to uh, like to grow my audience or anything like that. I just did it as a way to do what I love and share that to hopefully be able to encourage some people. Um, and apparently I have because my audience is slowly but surely growing. But I've had some people ask me how they can help or support. And I don't ask for anything. I never do. I And even if I buy things for myself, I usually end up returning them out of guilt. <laughs> which isn't exactly right either. But um, people have been asking how they can support me in this channel. So I threw together a wish list on Amazon. There's small stuff, big stuff, and in-between stuff, and there's no obligation for anyone to get anything, but some people have been asking, and so I will just put a link to the wish list in the description box below, and yeah, again, no obligation, I'm not, not asking, I'm really not, but some people have been asking me how they can help, and so I'll just put that up. It rose, so I'm going to feed it again this evening, and hopefully that'll be the ticket. So I'm back and you can see it's still above the elastic so to me that looks like it's active and still working. So after I feed it again I'm hoping that it will grow even more and quite honestly when I come down in the morning hopefully it's bubbled over and caused a huge mess because that would mean it's working well. So I'm gonna still pour off half. really bubbly. I don't know. Here. Really super bubbly. And it sounds fizzy, like it almost sounds like it's fizzling as I move and I can almost see the bubbles growing and then popping. It's kind of neat. I'll pour it off. Add one cup of flour in one of my favorite coffee cups. Yes, Christians can like Harry Potter. Doesn't make me a sinner. It's make believe like any other movie. Anyway, I digress. Here. One cup of flour. I'm making a big mess. Trying to get all the lumps of flour off my stir stick. I'm 
There we are. Seems to be pretty well mixed. Honestly, as I look in the jar, it gives me the feeling like it's living, like almost like it's moving and contracting. I find that really interesting. So I, I think we're on the right track. I'm going to, I'm gonna have to switch this tomorrow. I don't really have time to do it now. Um, but the level is up here, but I'm gonna leave the elastic here because that's where it was because it was up when I fed it, so maybe I should move it a little. Come on. There. It's a little bit high, but I know it's really crooked, but that's roughly where it is now. I'm gonna put a new coffee filter on it and call it a night. We'll show you results in the morning. So I don't know if you can see, the level is still right about up here. It's hard to tell because the jar is so crusty, but yeah, there's tons and tons of teeny tiny bubbles. But yeah, I just wanted to show you a close up with the new cover on before I head to bed and we'll see what it does in the morning.